morning. Yeah, it's all crazy. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> So now that I have a job, I started Saturday. Shh, shut up, computer. I'm vlogging. I now that I have a job, um, I I start Saturday, so I want to finish the giant room cleanup that I started. So I have to start going under the bed. Great. So I'm just gonna. Work my way across the floor first. I gotta, I gotta move everything that's on the floor over. And my floor has turned into a little bit of a crazy zone. My tables. I just gotta put books away, and I gotta find a spot for my knife case and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna tackle my dresser again, cause the top of it, it, it can be neat in a couple seconds, but right now it just looks gross. Dusting. I just don't want to re start reacting, but uh, we'll see. I'm sure I'll be fine. I just gotta. And if it does hurt me, then I'll just try and take the stuff out from under the bed, and then wait for Sean for him to dust it. Magical room cleanup. Go. Didn't work. You wanna help me clean my room? Oh, last night. So last night it. I was like, I'm going to go to bed early. I'm going to fall asleep and start waking up at a regular time because I need to start waking up early for my work. I, uh... <laughs> I started reading a book. And then I, uh, my eyes were heavy. And I'm just like, I'm just going to read one chapter. I'll probably forget it. But then I at least just started it. And then I was like, oh my god, this chapter is amazing. I was only halfway through it because it was a long chapter. And then I was like, one more chapter. One more chapter. And then the book was over. And I was like, worth it. It was it was a very good book. I just I have no idea what it was called. It's called Trickster's Choice. Rachel borrowed it from the library. And I know the author. And so I read it. It was very interesting, but made me stay up late and then not wake up early like I wanted to. So yeah, dirty, dirty corner there. Look at this crap. <laughs> so one of the things that was under my bed was a box and inside it were all my different glasses. I'm going to try to sort them. There's a lot of D and G I'm seeing. And to see. I don't know what this means. Alright, so I've got very similar styles of shades. Glasses. So I won't be able to organize them at all. But then... Here's the newest one up there. Glasses, glasses, glasses. I always had this square front of frame. Except for my very first pair of glasses which broke. They were kind of ovally shaped. But I, yeah, I just remember now they broke because I said that. Um, so I don't actually own them anymore. When I, when I go get a new pair of glasses I usually get the old frames turned into sunglasses with the same prescription because they have that kind of deal always so I always have like a prescription sunglasses that I never wear I'm gonna ask my parents what I should do with these because they don't want them really it's weird not to have the big frames these ones are like These are the worst. These are the oldest then.
another thing from under my bed. A cute picture of little old me. Ball, isn't she adorable? So this is the stuff that was under my bed that I want to not have under my bed, or at least limit it. It's a lot of school stuff that I haven't, I didn't go through at the end of school. And I'm also gonna go through the school stuff that's up there, just to go through school stuff. Oh, I need to get boxes. John, there's a butt in your face. Is he hurting you? Tooth in my finger. Oh, and a part of the balls. Archer, why do you hate me so much? <laughs> Is it because I have balls and you don't? Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Well, now I don't. <laughs> so we have the car that Sean's going to use for his driver's test. And um, we're making him practice. Judged a lot harsher. I know. His test is tomorrow. We need to cram all this in. Each yeah, day. I wanted to be able to practice more, but when I went to book the test, it was either book it in two days, so now tomorrow, or a month from now, actually the day after my. No, the day before my license expires, I didn't want to risk it. Yeah. Like, although it was the day before, I still was like... Just in case. Yeah, no thank you. I saw him. Good man. I was paying attention. If you avoid an accident during your test, automatic pass. Okay, follow me in your car. No. <laughs> So yeah, if you avoid having an accident, like if something happens, but you're good good enough to avoid it, if you're like smart enough, you're paying attention, and you know how to avoid that, it's an automatic pass. Like this. Because they're like, you're you're amazing at defensive driving. You just didn't have an accident. Go on, just just go back. You're, we're good. Like those stupid kids who are crossing the street. Yeah, we were just driving Jess home, and at the lights before going into um, where she lives, we had a green light, so we were going to go, and we were just turning left. But these bunch of kids were walking across the road. And this is at like 10.30 at night, yeah. so it's, it's dark. Yeah, it's dark out. You can't see anything. The street lights anything. aren't good there. There's a lot of them that aren't on. Yep. Luckily, there was... A group of them, so there was enough of a ball of people for me to be like, hey, what is that thing that's moving across the road? That shouldn't be moving across the road. I wanted to yell at them. Yeah. Align your mirrors. Start reversing. Towards it. What? No, you just seem far. But trucks are bigger. Mm hmm. That didn't happen. Yes, it did. Add that out, Sean. Add that out. Well, whatever, I don't care. Edit it out. Okay, so I have my driver's test tomorrow. And then I don't really know what I'm doing about work because I had to take the morning off in order to do my test, and I don't know when it's going to go till. I'll probably go into work when I'm finished. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous, just because, I don't know, I drive comfortably, not necessarily follow every single rule. Like, I'm a, I'm a good driver, I pay attention, but it's just, I don't know. We'll see how things go. Now I'm just tired, and I kind of want to sleep. I want to sleep right here, but I can't. I have to go home. I have to drive my mom into work because I'm taking her car. So I have to drive her there and drive back home. Practice a bit and then do my test. 
We'll see how it goes. Hey, Take sexy. Get out of my bed. Get out of your bed. I'm going you, to bed. You're going to bed? Okay, but I'm so comfy. Get out. Okay. You're going to bed at a reasonable hour tonight? Yeah. Or at least attempting to? Yes. What time is it? Just after 10. Just after 10. Alright, Lydia's asleep, and I should be heading home. Are you going to bed? No? Go to bed, buddy. And then be a weirdo. The heck was that? Huh? Weirdo? It's a good thing you're cute. <laughs> Alright. Good night, Director. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Director. Thanks. Ugh.